Y'all want to know how to drain a cooling system on a reefer that's been sitting for five years. My new $7,000 reefer. So, this right here, that's called a drain cock. You got to get a, a 916 drive ratchet and, and get the pressure off the bolt so you can unscrew with your hand there so it can focus the lens. Now, I'm sorry, if you look close, it's right above the fuel filter. It goes right in there. Though my whole system's empty. So, follow along. This, the next step is, which I already did, as you can tell by the trail, is, is drain the bat fluid that was already in there. Once you drain the, this fluid was disgusting, as you can tell by the floor, it was, it wasn't even like, the antifreeze was in there for so long that it wasn't even red. So first came out water, clear water, and then once, once like the, the water from the tank drained out, then like the really dirty clogging the radiator system stuff came out. It was like brown and black. And you can imagine how bad it was because I already flushed that thing once after I put the Blue Devil radiator flush number one in America in there. And you can imagine how bad it was the first time because when I flushed it the second time with water, Cause you have to put the water because you can't mix the chemicals with antifreeze. So I put the water in there in the second time. I'm going for the third time. It was still goddamn dirty. It was brown and black. That radiator, man. You get it. One part of the component, I know you always hear overheating and we pull leak in the water pump and driving while it's hot. Well, I don't have that problem. My problem is that the radiator it hasn't been flushed out in, since the dinosaur ages and there's just brown fluid. And bear with me as I get this another last round of water. I'm going to put a gallon in there. And it should start to clear up before I put the antifreeze. But this is the third time I'm flushing. One with the Blue Devil radiator flush from Auto Parts. You know, you can use it for the reefer. I'm sure you can use it for the truck. The big semi truck tra tra tractor. But... But I was told my carrier transicle to use it for the reefer. So this is the third time flushing it out. I'm going to fill this empty 50-50 antifreeze with water. I'm going to put it up in the radiator. Keep in mind the cap's not on there and don't lose that cap because the radiator cap's a lot more important than the reservoir cap. And the radiator cap's a lot more important for the refrigeration system on a semi-trailer than it Radiator cap, it withholds the pressure within the system. You'd be surprised stuff starts spreading down and it messes up other stuff. Make sure you don't lose that radiator cap when you're flushing out the radiator system. Yeah. With the blue devil. And also, always remember, a dirty, a dirty radiator water is always better than uh, no radiation fluid. Because with no fluid, you're bound to, one, bust the clamp, two, mess up the diesel system and get diesel in the coolant, or three, just bust the hose and bust the clamps so always better ro dirty radiator fluid than than uh, a major water bump leak and no fluid in the radiation system never drive your truck tractor with no cooling in the radiator because oil and cooling keep the tractor cool it's not a motorcycle as much as you think it's a motorcycle and there's a big radiator air filter there it's not a motorcycle water and oil keep the tractor cool and the diesel is what powers the tractor doesn't matter if you got deaf or no deaf it's always going to be like that so now we're flushing it out for the third time because it's really dirty and we got to get them chemicals out of there
So let me see what you're doing. I hooked up the hose here and I'm about to top it off right now. As you can see, as you can see, it's almost topped off. It'll start overflowing there now. Let's turn it up a little bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, let's close the cap. And save as much of this gallon of wash out the radiator or water as I can. All right, we got our gallon of water. Let's wash out this radiator system for good because the last time I used the Blue Devil radiator fluid that I used the first time for the second time and it's only about a quart so this is four times a quart it'd be at four quarts in a gallon so to be honest this should flush out all the gunk in the radiator system the gunk that's not flushed out with this gallon it's probably stuck to the walls because the blue devil's the blue the blue devil radiation flush for cars and the number one radiation flush in america probably still getting that gunk out them walls so we'll try with a gallon flushes it out for good and make sure you use water always after you use the blue devil radiation flush because you don't want you don't want none of them chemicals when you finally top it off with a required amount of 50 50 antifreeze but remember a big truck tractor always try to use 100 percent red antifreeze the reason being is because well I've heard stories that it's better on the bearings, the main bearings on the tractor, but it definitely won't hurt to put 100% antifreeze in your truck tractor, especially if it's pre-emission diesel. It won't hurt to when you flush it out with Blue Devil and chemicals and put water out there. Just use the red antifreeze. Don't cheap out. Use with the pre-emission tractor. Use 100% antifreeze. All right, there. There she is. Uh, please subscribe. I'm trying to flush this out for the last time before the YouTube video hits 10 minutes because for the algorithm, you know. I want y'all to blow up this channel. It's how to flush out a radiation system properly with the correct tools and all. Remember the 916th and the drain cock? The 916 drive ratchet in the drain cock. Yep. The bleeder tube. Not the same not the same bleeder to uh, prime up a big truck with no ether. Because it's bad. And you put fuel in the fuel filter. Not that drain cock. The cooler the coolant drain cock. Google it. Everything's on Google. You gotta take a 916 and open up the coolant drain cock there and drain it. And then put blue devil and then put antifreeze and do this all with the motor not while it is running not while it is running i repeat a cold engine with cold water all right let me climb on to my tractor i wish i could feel myself climbing onto my tractor All right, I'm on top of the truck. As you can see, now, we're gonna go. That's the drain cock. Oh. We're gonna open this baby up right here. Yup, that's right. This is where the radiator, always use a radiator. Never use the Advil coolant reservoir. Now, without falling off. Man, y'all better blow this shit up. I'm killing myself, almost falling out my damn own truck tractor.
Got all the water in there. And now watch this. Was I lying or not? Do y'all see how dirty this is? Look in the sunlight. You see that dirty shit? I'm about to call the previous owner and take a video of this. It was so dirty that the original antifreeze, it was clear light water before the gun came out. This reaper was sitting for a bed since the dinosaur ate down in Biloxi, Mississippi. I got it for seven thousand dollars from Garmin Trans at a Garmin Trans Mike Garmin Shan. Thomas Garmin Trans. Maybe it's for store trailer, but who knows? It was not a working reaper. Thus considering it's a 2006 and it hadn't been flushed in 2018. Y'all see how dirty that goddamn shit is. Blow up this goddamn video, goddamn it. I, I did the right amount of minutes for the algorithm. Now blow this goddamn video, goddamn it. 